Hello everyone. Welcome to another year of the Story of Your Stuff competition. My name is Jonathan Derren and I work with the Environmental Protection Agency. I've spent the last 30 years of my life working to improve our environment and also protect your health. The Story of Your Stuff competition is around providing an inspiring platform for our young people to consider how we consume and what we consume and other alternatives that we could be doing that would reduce the impact on our environment. And what the Story of Your Stuff competition is about is asking people to look at the quality of that consumption. Hi there, my name is Nora Patton. I am an engineer, an author and a citizen scientist astronaut candidate. I am delighted to take up the role as ambassador for this year's The Story of Your Stuff competition. The Story of Your Stuff offers young people an opportunity to bring their commitment to climate action to life and to use it to help influence environmentally conscious decisions. I am really looking forward to seeing how the students go about immersing themselves in their chosen topic and also how they go about presenting their findings in a creative way. It's important for second level students to share their considerations on the lasting impact of everyday decision making because they are the future, they are the next generation and we can all learn from their perspectives and considerations on what's important. Hi, I'm Lana Mitchell from Kilmine Community School. I entered the Story of Your Stuff competition after seeing Dervil O'Rourke's Instagram story. She was promoting the competition and I thought it seemed like such a great idea. It helps to bring awareness about where our stuff has come from and where it goes and the environmental impacts of it. It helps to bring awareness about what our stuff is actually doing to the planet. I really enjoyed entering the competition, but my favourite part was the creative aspect of the competition and conducting my research as it was really interesting. I did my project on the story of paper and the most interesting thing that I learned was that Printing a Sunday edition of the New York Times requires 75,000 trees. The most interesting thing that I found out while doing the Story of Your Stuff campaign was seeing how digital technology could be used um, to bring these topics to life for a wider audience. It makes it very accessible. For example, um, Lana used Flip a Clip for her project and it definitely brought the story of paper to life. My name is Tasman Crow. I'm a professor at UCD and director of its Earth Institute for Environmental and Sustainability Research. I've been a judge on the Story of Your Stuff competition before and was delighted by the level of creativity and insight that shone through in the entries. It's really uplifting to see this kind of work and the level of concern and enthusiasm that it captures. It's also great to get a sense of the kinds of young people who I hope will join us one day in the Earth Institute, developing new knowledge and working to ensure its effective application for a sustainable future. Why is it important that young people engage with the Story of Your Stuff competition? Well, firstly, I suppose it will draw attention to challenges to our environment. Our health depends on a high quality environment. Our future employment depends on a high quality environment. Our young people are a significant consumer group in their own right, and they are decision makers of the future. So what resources are out there? Well, one of the most important is Ireland's Environment.ie website. Here you can find information, infographics, reports, videos that tell you a good story about Ireland's environment and where the challenges are. Also, I would recommend you look at the story of your stuff.ie website itself and you can see not alone the competition rules but also links to entrants from previous years and you might get some inspiration from that. And I suppose thirdly, just look around your own home, in your bag, in your school. Anything that will inspire you to say, okay, what is this material? Where does it come from? Is it sustainably sourced? Our planet does not have an infinite supply of raw materials. So we need to be careful about how we use our stuff.